Okay, so we are going to be taking this toward Ekapatak Alvasana today. So it's going to be a lot of hip opening, a lot of external rotation of the hip. Um, very much like the stretch when you come into the half pigeon pose. This is going to get into the outer hip, into the glutes a little bit, toward the upper back. Keep that in mind. We're going to be working that sort of opening all through the flow from here and prep you as much as we can. Once we come into the pose, moving toward the arm balance. You don't have to get all the way there, but this is my demonstration. So when we're coming into this, every sequence is going to bring you to the front of the mat and initially going to bring this into the standing balance in the figure four. So you're going to be on one foot with the other leg lifted. And you're going to bring the ankle, the lifted ankle, past the thigh of your base leg. Curl the toes. Keep and keep them out to the side. Keep that foot tense. Keep your knee to the side. And then to sink into your stance. You should already feel a stretch in the outer hip of the lifted leg with both legs pressing into each other from here. Now you're going to have the arms bound once you come into the shape. If you need to release the bind at any point, feel free. You don't have to keep your hands in place. So just bring yourself to whatever keeps you upright. And I want to work, want you to work into that stretch in the external hip as much as you can. So Try to fold this down as much as possible, maybe a little bit, maybe come down a lot and fold completely over that lifted shin. We're going to hold this for a few breaths, and this is the main point of going toward this pose. Now, from here, after we've held this, I'm going to cue for you to release your hands down to the floor with the legs crossed like this. Now, if you can't get any lower than the fingertips, if you can't get your palms down to the floor, we're going to take this toward the arm balance. And if that isn't accept accessible to you, if you can't get the palms flat, just go ahead and release the cross and bring your second foot to the floor. You just bring your hands down, lift your heels, bring the knees to your arms and come into crow. Look forward, lean forward, keep your hips high, touch the toes together when the feet lift and bring the heels up. Now, if you're able to keep the feet, keep the legs crossed, then you take this into Galavasana and the cueing is almost the same with the crucial difference that your legs are actually crossed. So you're definitely going to feel this in the hip. Now you got to get the palms down and then lifted shin, bring it high up onto both arms. So move it, move it toward the armpits on both arms. It's going to slide down. So start high because you're going to need the space and keep that front leg kicking in. Your toes should hook the arm that it's wrapped around and then look forward, lean forward, take things slow, keep your hips high, keep looking at the floor and keep your hands tense. Now you can hover the base foot, maybe just for a moment. You can always set it back down. If you're able to keep that foot lifted, see about pulling your heel up toward your seat. And if you want to take things even further, if you can hold on to this, maybe extend that back leg up and back. And this is basically half pigeon, but you're doing it on two hands. So just work things as best you can. Just hold your, hold your balance. And then after a few breaths, we'll just bring it down and we'll move through the vinyasa from there. Now you can just step it down, come into plank. You can fly it back and bring it through the vinyasa just like you would from crow. Um, but just feel things out and see how far you're ready to take things today. And we'll do a lot of work on the hips before we even get to that point of trying to balance this from the hands. But either way, go ahead and take as much of a stretch as you can into the outer hip. And you're definitely going to feel the difference by the end of the flow. So all that said, let's go ahead and bring, begin this in child's pose. So bring yourself onto your shins. And once you come down, big toes point toward each other, bring the knees out wide, wider than your hips. And then walk your hands forward, sink your torso down as low as you can between your thighs. Bring your forehead all the way down to the mat and just let yourself relax down as much as you can. And then just close your eyes. So just give yourself a moment to settle in like this. Let your mind quiet down. And then just start to deepen your breathing here. So with the inhales, pull as much as you can. Try to fill up your lungs. Hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe here. When you're ready, take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, keep your eyes closed, but come up onto the fingertips. And walk your hands over to the right far as you can. So extend your torso long over your right back. Let your head just hang, stretch long through both arms. Try to keep your seat down low to your heels and feel all that lengthening on your left side. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring the hands through center, come over to the left. Torso long over your left thigh this time. Stretch long through both arms. Let your head hang. Try to keep your seat down low. Deep inhale here. And then with the exhale, bring the hands back through center over to the right again. Torso long over your right thigh. Now stretch your left arm as far right as you can, but pull the right hand back outside the right leg. Press the right hand down. Sink your left shoulder toward the floor. Just a little bit of a twist here to stretch that left side longer. 
with the next inhale, reach your arms in line. And then with the exhale, walk the hands through center, come over to your left side again. Torso long over your left thigh, stretch your right arm as far left as you can. Pull the left hand back, set it down outside your left leg, press down and sink your right shoulder down toward the floor, stretch out that right side further. With your next inhale, reach the arms in line. And then with the exhale, walk the hands into center. And then start walking them in toward your knees and bring yourself to an upright seat. And then once you're up, you can stay here seated on the shins or take a cross-legged seat, whatever suits you best. But then let's move from here and take it slow. So with your next inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach us up high again. Exhale, hands through center. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, through center again. Inhale, reach us up high. Now with the exhale, bring the hands down to center. And then interlace your fingers, face your palms away from you. Keep your elbows wide. Palms toward the ceiling. Draw the shoulders back. Keep your chest open like this. And then take it side to side. Lean over to the right. But gaze up high. Pull your left shoulder back. And then bring it up through center. Lean left, right shoulder back, look up toward the ceiling. Back through center, lean over to the right again. And then through center, keep your chest open, lean to your left side. Now back through center, lean over to the right one more time. And hold here, left shoulder back, keep looking toward the ceiling, maybe go further and press out through your palms. And then bring the through center, lean over to the left side one more time. Right shoulder back, look up toward the ceiling, and maybe press out through your palms here and take it further. With your next inhale, back to center and release the interlace. Bring your hands down to the floor. And then once your hands come down, just go ahead and lift your hips. And we'll take this into a broad vajrasana version of a twist. So go ahead and point your toes over to the left. And then walk your hands to the right. And bring your right hip down. Now right hand sets behind you. Left hand presses to the right thigh. Sit up tall. Crown of the head toward the ceiling. Now look back over the right shoulder. And then keep extending up as you're twisting. And just breathe here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring it up onto your hands. Lift your hips and come over to the other side. Toes point right. Bring your left hip down. Left hand sets behind. Right hand outside to your left thigh. Now again, sit this up tall. Crown of the head toward the ceiling. Look back over your left shoulder, use the right arm, press into your left leg as you're twisting and reaching it to the top of your head straight up. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, back up onto the hands, lift your hips, point the toes left, and bring the right hip down. Right hand sets behind, left arm outside to your right thigh to brace this. Sit up tall, crown of the head toward the ceiling, look back as far as you can over that right shoulder and just keep breathing. And now this time, I want you to hold the twist, but then just turn your head and look back over your left shoulder. Now, as you look back, curl the toes of your left foot, try to see the left knee. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't. But work this as best you can, and this is internal rotation here. Press your left knee toward the floor. And as best you can, lift your left foot, probably not a whole lot, and then set it back down. Again, left knee toward the floor. As you hold the twist, try to lift the foot, and then set it back down. One more time, left knee toward the floor. Try to lift that left foot best you can. And then release. Come up onto the hands. Lift your hips. Take it to the other side. Toes point right. Bring your left hip down. Left hip set, Left hand sets behind your right arm outside your left thigh. Now sit up tall. Crown of the head toward the ceiling. Look back over your left shoulder and extend out as long as you can as you're twisting. And then as you hold your twist, just turn your head. Look back over the right shoulder. You're trying to see the right knee. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But then work that internal rotation on this side. So curl the toes, the right foot, keep the foot tense. Press the right knee toward the foot. Try to lift that right foot a little bit. And then set it down, probably more than me. Right knee to the floor. Try to lift that right foot as you hold the twist. And then release. One more time, press your right knee down. Work to lift that right foot up a little bit. And then let that go. And then come up onto your hands, lift your hips. And just come into center in all fours and just move around here for a moment. And then once you're ready, just call, go ahead and cross at the ankles and bring yourself down to a seat. And once you're seated, we're going to take this into boat. So go ahead, take hold of your knees, pull them into your chest and lean back. Sit this upright as much as you can. Draw the thighs in close. You're trying to close that gap between your thighs and your torso. 
and squeeze in tight, set this up as tall as possible. Now try to hold on to this as best you can, but release your grip. Arms at your sides, bring the shins toward parallel with the floor. And we're going to use this as the base position and go back and forth from here to kneeling. We'll take the first round slow. Right foot behind your left leg. Now roll forward, right shin down, left foot down. You can press down with your hands, but then lift up. And once you're up, squeeze your glutes and press your hips forward. Pull your belly in. Round back down. Take it slow. Come back to your seat with your legs to get the legs pulled in close. Left foot behind the right leg. Roll forward, left shin down, right foot down. If you need to use the hands, go ahead and press up. And then press your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. Pull the belly in. Round back down and come back to boat. Now we'll take it faster and you can use the hands to press off the floor, but if you can, try to reach forward and use your core. Right foot behind your left leg. Roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in and round your spine. Bring it back down, legs together. Left foot behind the right leg, roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in, round your spine and bring it back to boat. Right foot behind your left leg, roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in, round your spine, and bring it back to boat. Left foot behind your right leg, roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in, round your spine, and find your balance here. Right foot behind your left leg again, roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in, round your spine, bring it back to boat. And then left foot behind your right leg, roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in and round. Back to your seat, legs together. One more round. Right foot behind your left leg, roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in and round your spine. Bring it back down, legs together. Left foot behind the right leg, roll forward, lean forward, lift, hips forward at the top. Pull back in and round and bring it back to boat. And just find your balance here. Now, just like we started, sit this up tall, draw the thighs in close, just keep your arms reaching. If you can take it further, lift your feet a little bit, maybe a lot, but still keep the thighs pulled in close, hold your balance here and keep breathing. Take an inhale. And with the exhale release, just bring your feet to the floor, hands down behind you, and then just fold your knees side to side. Now go ahead, bring your knees into center. We'll take a reclining position from here. Actually, we we'll, won't we'll feel, feel like reclining for long, but extend your left leg forward. Keep your right knee bent. Come down to the left forearm and on your left hip with the right hand in front of your chest. Now while you're on your left hip, keep the left foot pointed out to the side. Push the right foot down. Keep it behind your left leg. And then press into the full. Lift that left hip up as high as you can and keep it lifted. Now as you hold here, go back and forth with your left foot. Lift it and bring the heel to touch your right knee. And then set it back down. Left heel to right knee and set this down again. Left heel to right knee. Set the foot down. Left heel to right knee. And then bring it back down. One more time, left heel to right knee. Now lower the foot, but keep it off the floor. And then reach your right arm past your head, stretch this out long. Now from here, take an inhale. Exhale, squeeze in, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee one more time. And then set yourself down. And go ahead, roll to the other side. Now right forearm down, right hip on the floor. The toes of the right foot point to the side. That leg's extended. Left foot flat behind your right leg. Bring the left hand in front of your chest and lean into that. And then press into the full. Lift the right hip up as high as you can. Stay lifted. Now just lift the right foot. Bring the heel to touch your left knee. Set it back down. Right heel to left knee. And set the foot. Heel to knee. Bring the foot back down. Heel to knee and set the foot. One more time, heel to knee. Now lower the foot, but keep it lifted. And then reach your left arm past your head, stretch this out long. Take an inhale. Exhale, squeeze in, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Now inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more time. And then go ahead and set yourself back down. Now once you come to a seat, both hands behind your feet in front and just fold your knees side to side for a moment, loosen things up. And then once you're ready, come into center, cross at the ankles, roll forward your hands. And let's go ahead and take this under the wrist. So bring the hands in close to your knees, within about one hand's length, maybe two. Flip your hands over, backs of the hands down, palms up, point the fingertips in toward the midline of the mat. 
So the hands are pressed, pointing toward each other. Now spread your fingers wide, press your fingertips down, straight arms. You can always bring the hands right in front of the knees if you don't want too much pressure in the hands. Maybe go further forward if you want to make it more intense. And then from wherever you are, just slide the hands together to interlace your fingers. Fingers spread wide, fingertips pressing down, straight arms, spine pressed up toward the ceiling. Hold here. And then just take things back and forth. Flip your hands over, palms down. And flip them again, palms facing up. And just keep on going back and forth like this. Now each time you reset your hands, spread your fingers out wide, press the fingertips down, try to straighten your arms at least briefly, and just take a jump pace. Now the next time you end up with the palms facing up, hold here. Spread your fingers out wide, press your fingertips down, press your spine up toward the ceiling. And then from here, take it from up to down. So bend the elbows out to the side, sink your chest down low. And then press back up to straight. And just keep on moving back and forth like this. Now even as you're moving, keep your hands tense, fingertips pressing down. And bring it all the way up to straight each time. And then the next time you come back up, just stay here. And then release. Come up onto the fingertips and walk your hands forward. Come to your regular all fours. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips to set this up. And one more stretch. So go ahead with the palms down. Rotate your fingertips to the sides and then toward your knees. And come as far in that, into that rotation as you can. Spread your fingers wide. Dig your fingertips down. Press your spine up toward the ceiling and keep it lifted. Now maybe just stay here and sway the shoulders side to side and this could be good enough. And if you're ready, take this a little bit further. Keep that grip, keep your spine lifted, and just move one leg at a time. Step your right foot straight back, big toe to the floor. And then bring that right big toe over the left as far as you can go. And let's go diagonal from here. So bring the right heel forward up and to the right, and then extend your leg back and across. Right heel up and to the right side, keep gripping with your fingers, and extend back and across. Right foot up and to the right, one more time. Extend back and across, and then just set your right knee down. Take it on the other side, left foot straight back, big toe to the floor. Left big toe over to the right as far as you can go. Diagonally here, bring that left heel forward up into your left side. Extend this back and across. Up into your left side again, and then back and across. Left foot up into the left, back and across one more time. And then set your left knee down. And then come up onto the fingertips and down to sitting on your heels and take a moment. Shake your hands out. Loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. Now once the hands are ready, just stay here on your heels. And we're going to set this up for some bridging. So go ahead, bring the knees out wide, wide in the hips. Big toes point toward each other like you're about to come into child's pose. Hands behind the shoulders about shoulder width. Now try to stay lifted and stay on your fingertips if you're able. Now I'm going to take this back and forth, but to make this work, you need to kick your feet to the floor and squeeze your glutes as you press your hips up and forward. So just bring both hands down. Let's go back and forth. So press into your feet, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips and let your head fall back. And then sink this back down. Kick into the floor. Squeeze your glutes. Open up your chest. And then come back down. Kick into the floor. Squeeze your glutes. Hips pressed high and forward. Come back down. One more time like this. Kick into the floor. Lift. Squeeze your glutes. Hold for a little bit longer. And then come back down. Now we're going to take it side to side. Left hand stays down. With an inhale, sweep your right arm left. Lift up. Squeeze your glutes and let your head fall back. And then bring it all down. Right hand sets with an inhale. Sweep your left arm right and lift. Kick into the floor. Squeeze your glutes. And then bring it back down. With your next inhale, sweep the right arm left. Lift up again. Exhale. Bring it back down. Inhale. Sweep your left arm right. Open up. And then exhale. Come back down. Inhale. Sweep the right arm left and stay lifted this time. Let your head fall back and just keep breathing. Keep kicking into the floor. Take it further. Stretch your right arm long. Kick into the right foot. Try to hover your right knee up off the mat a little bit. And then bring it back down. One more time on the other side. With an inhale, sweep your left arm right and hold the lift. Let your head fall back. Keep your body long. Kick into both feet. Stretch that left arm long. Kick with the left foot. Try to hover your left knee. Hips are still pressing forward. And then bring it all back down. Once you're down, walk your hands forward. Come into all fours. Now just move around for a moment. Now a little bit further to warm up the hips from here. Wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips are here to start. Tuck the toes of both feet. Now hover your knees up off the mat and just stay lifted. And then press into your hands, sink your seat down to your heels. Now let's go back and forth. Right foot up to outside the right hand. And then step back and sink down. Left foot outside your left hand. 
and then sink back down. Right foot up to the right again, sink back to your heels, left foot up to the left side, and then sink back down. Right foot up to the right again, and then come back to your heels, left foot up to your left side, and sink this down. Right foot up to the right again, back to the heels, left foot up to your left side, and then sink back down. Now this time, crosswise, right foot up to the left from underneath, you're gonna twist. And then come back to your heels. Left foot up to the right side. And then come back down. Right foot up to the left again. Sink back to your heels. Left foot up to the right side. And then sink down. Now right foot up to the left one more time. Sink back down. Left foot up to the right side one more time. Sink back down. And then go ahead and set your knees down. Come back to all fours. Let's take a couple breaths here. All right, one more thing before we move on to work that figure four a little bit further. Now, at the very least, this is going to put a little bit of that stretch into the outside of your hip. And if you want to take it further, I'm going to cue this all the way to baby Galavasana, which is pretty hard, so just take things to where you can. Now, press into your hands, tuck the toes of both feet, hover your knees up off the floor. Now, step your right foot forward up to the left, find that cross step, and then set your left knee down. Now, from here, with your left hand, take hold of the right ankle. Bring it up high on your left thigh. So cross the legs. Keep the toes of the right foot curled. Keep the knee to the side. Keep the right leg pressing into the left. You can stay right here. Now, if you want to take things further, keep the legs crossed, but bring the left hand to the floor. Toes your left foot tucked. Lift your left knee and round over your cross legs and just press in tight. Maybe move around like this, and this could be good enough. Now, if you want to take this further and move toward that baby Galavasana, you're going to have to bring everything rounded in and bring it in close. So walk the hands in. And it's going to be one forearm down at a time. So I'm going to recommend you bring that left forearm down first. Hook the right foot over your left arm. When the right foot comes down, bring the right knee to your right arm. And now keep your hips high. Look forward. Try to keep your face off the floor best you can. And as you lean, maybe lift your left foot. Now, if you really want to take it further, try to keep your hips high. Maybe extend that left leg up and back. And that is not easy at all. And from wherever you are, just go ahead and release this. Uncross your legs. And come into all fours. And that baby Galvarsen is actually much harder than doing this on your hands, keep in mind. So from here, just to warm it up on the other side, come back to all fours, wrist into your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tuck the toes of both feet, and step your left foot up to the right. Now bring your right knee down, and then with your right hand, take hold of your left ankle this time. Pull that left ankle up high on the right thigh. Curl the toes of your left foot, keep the knee to the side, and keep your legs pressing together. This might be enough. To go further, right hand down. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift your right knee, and round yourself down deep over your cross legs. Maybe stay here and move around and feel the stretch. If you want to go toward that baby Galavasana, walk the hands in close. And then you bring the right forearm down first, hook the left foot on your right arm. When the left arm comes down, bring that left knee to your left arm. Look forward, hips high, lean forward, that'll lift the right foot. Maybe take it further and extend that right leg up and back. Again, not easy at all. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and release and bring everything down. And then once you come into all fours, give yourself a moment just to breathe. Now you can just stay here and breathe to take a break or take another stretch before you move on. But whenever you're ready, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips, and find your downward dog. Once you're moving your down dog, take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Press your palms flat so you can feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. And then sink your chest down low to the floor. As your chest sinks down, reach your hips up as high as you can toward the ceiling. Keep that long upward reach of the hips, pulling through the belly, around the lower ribs, lengthen out your spine, lengthen out your midsection. And with your hips reaching high, if your legs are tight, let the tension go. You can always bend your knees. Maybe pedal out and stay loose. When you're ready, hit take an inhale. And with the exhale, just bend the knees. Look forward, step to the front, take a ragdoll fold. So feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees, let your belly touch your thighs. Let your head hang, let your spine round, let everything go long and loose, and let the muscles in your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands to the floor, you can reach to opposite elbows if you like, and maybe shake this side to side to loosen further. And then when you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin and restack your spine, slowly round this up to standing, bring your head up last, and just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands down to heart sign. Take a moment to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. 
And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now with the next inhale, reach us up high. And then with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips, stop the straight spine, put a little bend in the knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly, and then just release at the bottom. Now with an inhale, lift it up halfway, fingertips a little forward to your shins, lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat, let's step it back to high plank. Now find your shape, wrist the shoulders, palms pressed to the floor, press the floor away from you, press your spine up toward the ceiling. And then take an inhale. Now with the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Keep your body in line. Elbows pulled into your sides, lower with control, all the way down to your belly. Now once you're down, flatten the feet out behind you. Hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. And let's take this up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. Exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, peel up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time and stay lifted. Now keep the left knee upper body pressing into your feet, squeeze your glutes, and take some more all the way out of your hands, elbows at your sides, pull the shoulders back, keep looking forward, and use the muscles that line your spine, lift this up a little bit higher. Take an inhale, exhale, roll back down, hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides, press the palms to the floor. When you're ready, take it to upward facing dog with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward, let your hips hang, stand the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active, work to lift your knees. To take it further, kick your feet down, squeeze your glutes, and pull the hips forward to deepen and lengthen the arc all through the front. Now lift with the arms, but lift with your shoulders. Keep your neck long, keep your chest pulling forward. Take a deep inhale, and then with the exhale, pull your belly, hips are patted down, dog. Paddle out here, let your hips move side to side. Let's take it through the sun salutation. Steady movement. Take a deep inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees. Look forward, step or float to the front. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. Inhale to standing. Reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, fold all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift. And with the exhale, hands to the mat. Chaturanga's next half plank to low. With an inhale, open up your chest. Lift your gaze up, dog or cobra. And then with the exhale, pull your belly in. Hips hot it down, dog. Two more rounds. Keep it steady. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Step or float. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to stand and reach up high. And then with the exhale, bring it back down again. Inhale, lift up halfway here. And with the exhale, hands to the floor. High plank the lows next. With an inhale, open up, pull forward. And then with the exhale, draw back in and bring your hips back up. One more round. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift it halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach us up high. And then exhale all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift here. And with the exhale, set the hands. Chaturanga. Now with an inhale, open up, pull this forward. And then with the exhale, draw back in and bring your hips back up. Find your downward facing dog and breathe here. Now from your down dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. And move into a scorpion dog, bend your right knee, hang your right foot left. So open up your hips and let your body twist. With the next inhale, straighten your right leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, forward, knee to right elbow. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow, and stay forward, stay lifted here around your spine. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, just set the right foot down between your hands, low lunge. Now the right foot to your base, pull the left knee to your chest, curl everything in tight. And from here, we're going to set this up to open to a revolved half moon. Now, your left hand stays down, forward to the right foot, but over the left. Lean to your left side. And then with an inhale, reach your right arm high, extend your left leg back. Exhale, curl this in. Inhale, the right arm high, left leg back. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, right arm high, left leg back. Hold here. Now, keep the right shoulder high. Look out to the right. You can bend the right knee. That's fine. Straighten the leg if you can. If you can go further, bend your left knee and bind that leg. With your right hand, reach back, find the foot. And if you have that grip, kick in your hand. Let that pull your shoulder further back. Stay twisted and stay balanced here. Now, take an inhale. 
with the exhale release both hands down left foot down next to the right and slide your right foot back come into low lunge now bring your right knee down right foot flat behind sink your hips down press them forward when you're ready open this up with an inhale reach this up and back gaze up high and just hold let your hips sink low to the front of the mat and lengthen out the front of the right side Now, as you hold your shape, bring your hands down to heart center. Interlace your fingers, face the palms away from you, keep your elbows wide. And then just bring the hands over your head, palms open toward the ceiling. Now, keep looking up and just take this back and forth with your arms and shoulders. So lean this over to the left, but gaze up high. And then bring it through center, arms over to the right, gaze up high here. Keep your hips low, bring the arms through center, over to the left side again, you're still looking up. Back through center, bring the arms over to the right, keep your chest open. One more time through center, lean this over to the left side and keep looking up. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, just release this. Hands to your low back, palms open, fingers wide, shoulders back, elbows wide, keep your chest open. And then fold down over your left leg, tuck the toes of your right foot. Now when you lift your right knee, drop the right heel, open up to the right side. I'm going to take this into a straddle stance. Now just give yourself a moment to feel this out. Heels and toes out, both legs straight. The feet go as wide as your hips allow. Keep your shoulders pulled back, keep your chest open. Now from here, we're just going to take it side to side. So turn over to the right, and then hinge from the hips. Now bend the right knee, but bring your torso down as flat onto the right thigh as you can as you sink down low. Press into your right foot and come back to center. Now turn left, hinge from the hips. Torso to your left thigh, bend your left knee deep, sink down. Press into your left foot, come back up, turn over to the right again. Hinge forward, bend the right knee, torso to your right thigh, come down low. Push into your right foot, come back up, turn left. Bend the left knee, torso to your left thigh, bring it down low here. Press into your left foot, come back up. Now one more time, turn right. Bend the right knee, hinge forward. Now belly to the right thigh, come down as low as you can and stay low this time. And we're going to take this with a twist. So release the left hand, take hold of your right ankle. Use the bound right arm, pull the right shoulder back, look up toward the ceiling, and keep your torso in contact with the right thigh. If you want to straighten that right leg, that's fine. Just don't lose the touch and keep breathing here. Now take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this, both hands down inside the right leg. Now pivot on the right heel, turn the right foot so it's parallel to the short side of the mat. Bend the right knee all the weights on your right foot, pull the left knee to your chest and curl everything in. And then when you're ready with your hands, take hold of your left knee and round this up to vertical. Now dig the right big toe down into the floor. And then once you got your balance, let's take this into tree. So left foot somewhere inside the right leg, maybe at the ankle with the toes on the floor. You can bring the foot up to the calf, maybe up to the inner thigh. Just avoid pressing to the inside of the right knee. Now keep that left knee pointed toward the front of the mat. And bring your hands to wherever it keeps your balance. Hips, heart, center, you can reach this up. If you want to take this deeper with the arms, take a half bind. Left arm behind your back, palm face wing. Draw the left shoulder back. And then reach the right arm high, keep your gaze forward. If you want to go further still, take this slow. But maybe start to reach the right arm left and lean left, but keep your left shoulder drawn back. Let your hips move to the right. Just take this to where you can and keep your balance. Now, if you're leaning slowly, bring your spine upright. Release the left foot and step it toward the front. Now, once both feet are down, right hand meets the left at your right side. Interlace the fingers, pull the palms together, keep your shoulders pulled back. Now, look at the left foot, point it to the front of the mat. Lift your right heel, square the hips forward. When you're ready, come to standing on the left foot with your right knee lifted. Now, dig the left big toe. Once you balance, cross the right leg over the left, find your figure four. Shoulders pull back, bend into that left knee, start to sink into your stance, bring your hips down. And then fold as deeply as you can over your crossed legs. Keep your shoulders pulled back, keep your chest open, keep looking forward best you can. And just hold here. Look for that stretch, at least of some of it, in the outer right hip. All right, when you're ready, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just bring your hands down to the floor. Now, this is where we take the arm balance. Now, if you can't bring the palms to the floor with the legs crossed, just go ahead and set the right foot down, you'll take this into crow. Otherwise, set your palms flat, and for Galavasana, bring that lifted shin high up on both arms and kick that right foot forward. Now, either way, grip the floor with your fingers, look forward, start to lean, keep your hips high. And then for Galavasana, you can hover the left foot, maybe pull the heel up toward your seat, maybe extend your left leg up and back. Just take things to where you can, hold your balance.
And then when you're ready, go ahead, step it back. Fly it back, take it to your vinyasa. And we'll meet in down dog. And once you find your down dog, move around. Let's take all that to the other side. When you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. And with your left leg lifted, move into your scorpion dog. Bend your left knee, hang your left foot right, stack your hips, let your body twist. With the next inhale, straighten your left leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale forward, knee to left elbow. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow, stay forward like this, stay lifted around your spine. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, set the left foot down between your hands. Now the left foot's your base. Pull the right knee to your chest. Curl everything in tight and stay low. And from here, we're going to open to that revolved half moon again. Right hand stays down. Forward your left foot, but over to the right. Lean to the right side. Back and forth. Inhale the left arm high and right leg back. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, left arm high, right leg back. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, left arm high, right leg back. Hold here. Now keep your chest open, left, left shoulder stays high, look left. You can bend the left knee or straighten the leg. And if you want to bind the right leg, bend that knee, reach with your left hand. If you find the foot, kick into your hand and just breathe here. Stay twisted through the upper body. Take an inhale. With the exhale, release both hands down, right foot next to the left. And then slide your left foot back and come into a little lunge. Take it down lower, left knee down, left foot flat behind. Sink your hips down, press them forward. When you're ready with an inhale, open this up. Reach your arms up and back and look up toward the ceiling. Sink your hips down low. And lengthen out the front of your left side this time. Just breathe. Now as you hold your shape, bring your hands into heart center. Interlace the fingers, face the palms away from your elbows wide. And then hands overhead, palms facing the ceiling. Keep your gaze up high as you move the arms and shoulders. So lean this over to the right side. Keep looking up. And then bring the arms through center and over to your left. Keep your chest open. Lean this over to the right, but keep your gaze high. Back through center, arms over to the left side again. Keep looking up. Bring the arms over to the right. Hold here. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Keep your gaze up. Keep that left hip pulling forward. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, just release the interlace. Bring the hands to your low back. Palms open, fingers wide, shoulders pulled back and elbows wide. Now hinge forward, belly to the right back, and then tuck the toes of your left foot. When you're ready, go ahead, lift up, drop your left heel, and open up to the left side. Find your straddle stance. Now take a moment to feel this out. So feet set wide, feet are flat, heels and toes out, both legs straight. Draw the shoulders back and keep your chest open. Let's go back and forth from here to that side lunge. So turn to the left. Bend your left knee and hinge forward. Toss it to your left thigh. Come down low to your left side. Press into your left foot. Come all the way up to center. Turn right. Bend the right knee. Hinge from the hips. Flatten out over your right thigh as you sink low. Press into the right foot. Come back up. Turn to the left. Bend the left knee. Sink low. Toss it to your thigh. Press into your left foot. Bring it back up. Turn right. Bend the right knee. Sink down deep into the right thigh. Press into your right foot, bring it back up. Turn left, bend your left knee, belly to your left thigh, shoulders pulled back, stay low this time. And then release the right hand, take hold of your left ankle. Now use that hand, pull yourself further down, draw the left shoulder back with your half bind, and look up toward the ceiling. If you want to go further, maybe start to straighten the left leg, but keep your torso in contact with your left thigh and keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring both hands down inside the left foot. Now look at your left foot. Turn that foot so it's parallel to the short side of the mat. All the way to the left foot. Pull the right knee to your chest. Curl things in. And then take hold of that right knee. Come all the way up to standing. Once you got your balance slow, you're breathing down. And then take this into tree. So right foot somewhere inside the left leg. Again, maybe the ankle, the toes, and the floor. You can come to the inside of the calf. If you're going to go up higher, bring the foot to the inner thigh. Now keep the right knee out to the side. Keep your balance. Hands wherever it keeps you upright. Hips, heart center. Maybe reach up. If you want to go further with the arms, take a half bind with your right arm across your low back. Draw that shoulder back. And then see about reaching left arm high. Keep looking forward. 
to take it even further. Start to reach and lean over to the right. Right shoulder pulled back, keep your gaze forward. And just take things to where you can still balance. Now, if you're leaning, slowly bring your spine upright. And then release the right foot, step it forward. Now, once both feet are down, both hands come to your left side. Interlace the fingers, pull the palms together, keep your shoulders pulled back. Now, look at the right foot, point the toes to the front. Lift your left heel, square your hips to the front of the mat. And then bring all the way to the right foot with your left knee high. Now, move into your figure four, left ankle over the right thigh, curl the toes, keep the knee to the side. Start to sink into your stance, keep your shoulders pulled back. Take a deep hinge from the hips. You can fold down a little bit or a lot, but right, try to really come down over your cross legs. And just take this to where you can. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Keep breathing here. All right, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just release your hands down to the floor. Now, if you can't get the palms down, just set the left foot down and take this into crow. Otherwise, bring your palms down flat and bring that lifted shin high on both upper arms for Galavasana. Now, kick your left foot forward. Look forward, lean forward, keep your hips high. And as you lean, maybe hover your right foot good enough. Maybe pull that heel up toward your seat. Maybe extend that right leg up and back. Take things to where you can here and just breathe with this. And then when you're ready, take it through another vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, move around. Now we'll take the next sequence. With your next inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale forward, knee to right elbow. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Stay forward like this. Stay lifted around your spine. From up to down, lower that knee toward your wrist. Pull it up past the elbow. Down toward the wrist. And then pull it up high. Down toward the wrist. Pull up one more time and hold here. And then set the right foot down between your hands. Right foot to your base. Left knee to your chest. Curl everything in and stay low. And then back and forth, your left hand stays down, lean left. With an inhale, reach your right arm high, left leg back, revolved half moon. And then curl this back in. Inhale the right arm high, left leg back. And then curl this back in. Inhale the right arm high, left leg back, hold here. Now keep your chest open to the right, keep the right shoulder lifted, look right. Maybe straighten your right leg. To bind it, bend the left knee, reach with the right hand, find the foot. If you have that grip, kick in your hand, let it pull your shoulder further back and just breathe. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Both hands down, left foot down next to the right. Left foot stays forward. Slide the right foot back, low lunge. And from here, we'll take it to warrior one. So with an inhale, drop the right heel. Hands to hips and bring your torso all the way to upright. Now take a moment to set it up. Deep bend the left knee, straight right leg. Both feet flat. Right foot points aside at least a little bit. Pull the right hip forward and left hip back. So go ahead, shorten or widen the stance as you need to, but keep your hips squared and sink your hips down best you can. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach the arms up high. And then with the exhale, elbows out wide, let your head fall back, open your chest and hold here. Right hip pulling forward, left hip still pulling back. And we're going to move from this position with the arch spine to rounding. So while you're here, take an inhale. Exhale, reach forward, round as much as you can. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, forward and round. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, round, forward again. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. And with the exhale, round one more time. Now bring the left hand to your left hip. Right arm comes down past your left thigh. And that's going to brace your twist. Pull your left shoulder back and look up toward the ceiling. Keep the right hip pulling forward, left hip pulling back. And this could be enough. Now if you want to take it even further, maybe straighten your left leg. But keep that twist. Keep the right arm pressing to your thigh. Maybe reach your left arm high and pull, your left arm high and pull the left shoulder back to deepen your twist. And keep breathing with this here. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, release both hands down inside the left foot. Now make a quarter turn to the right. And at the side of the mat here, bring your legs into a horse stance. Heels and toes out, bend the knees and bring your hips down low. And then once you got that set up, just crawl the hands up onto your thighs, bring your torso to upright, move around. 
Now God reached the arms out wide. We're going to take this with an eagle bind. It's going to be left arm under, right arm over, cross the elbows, palms to touch thumbs with your face. If you can't get the palms together, just reach across to opposite shoulders. Do what works and keep the arms squeezing. Now from here, go ahead and straighten both legs. Elbows up high, let your head fall back, keep your arms squeezing. Now take it back down, elbows toward your belly, round your spine, bend the knees and sink your hips, and then hinge from the hips and fold down between your thighs. Bring it back up again, torso all the way upright, straight legs, elbows high, let your head fall back, arms still squeezing, round back in, elbows toward your belly, bend the knees, sink your hips down, and then hinge down, fold between your thighs. Bring it up again, torso upright, straighten your legs, elbows high, let your head fall back, keep the arms squeezing. Pull in, elbows toward your belly, round your spine. Bend the knees, sink down low, and then fold down between your thighs. Now, once you're down, just release the arm bind, both hands down. Walk your hands over to the right side, so you're still folded, but you're bringing the right side of your rib cage to the inner right thigh. Now, stay low like this. Knees are wide, hips are low. Take a half bind. Right arm reaches underneath. Wrap the right arm around the right thigh, palm up and behind. This is enough. You can just hook that leg with your arm. Now, if you want to take things further, reach the left arm back from the other side. And if you find that grip, keep the leg squeezing in. Now let's try to draw the left elbow up, look up toward the ceiling, hips low, knees still wide, just breathe with this here. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, release both hands down and just bring your hips up high, shake out your legs and just loosen up here for a moment. Now, when you're ready, come back into horse. Bend the knees, bring the hips down low. Walk the hands back up onto your thighs. And then take a bind at your low back. So bring the hip palms together. Interlace your fingers, pull your shoulders back, keep your chest open, keep your hips low, and the knees set wide like this. Now go back and forth, lift your left heel. Pivot to the right, keep your torso upright, but dip your left knee down low. And then come straight up, set the left heel, and you're back in horse. Right heel up, turn left. Dip the right knee straight down. Lift up, set the right foot flat, come back to horse. Left heel up, turn to the right, dip your left knee down. Keep your torso upright, come back up, set your feet flat. Right heel up, turn to the left, dip your right knee down this time. Come straight up, right foot flat. One more time to the left side, lift your left heel, or over to the right side, I should say, dip your left knee down. Come back up, and then back into horse. And then look at your left foot, pivot on the heel, point the toes to the front of the mat. Lift your right heel and square the hips forward. Now come forward to left foot with your right knee high, find your balance here. And then move into your figure four, right ankle over your left thigh. Now keep the toes, the right foot curled, bend into that left knee, sink your hips down. Shoulders back, start to hinge from the hips and fold as deep as you can over your crossed legs. Keep your gaze forward, shoulders back, maybe press your knuckles toward the ceiling. But just take this to where you can. Now take an inhale, and then with the exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Now if you can't get the palms down, just bring the right foot down, take this into crow. Otherwise, palms flat, right shin high on both upper arms, kick that leg forward. Keep your hips high, look forward and lean, go slow. Maybe hover your left foot, maybe pull the left heel up, maybe extend your left leg up and back. Take things to where you can. And then take it through another vinyasa. Once you find your down dog, paddle out here. All right, let's even all that out on the other side. With your next inhale, raise your left leg high behind you. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, forward, knee to left elbow. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow one more time. Hold here, stay lifted around your spine. Lower that knee toward your wrist. Pull it up high, pass the elbow, down toward the wrist, and then pull it up high, down toward the wrist. Pull up one more time and hold. Set the left foot down between your hands and pull the right knee to your chest, curl everything in, stay low. Right hand down, lean over to the right, and then one more time back and forth. Inhale your left arm high and right leg back. Exhale, curl this in. Inhale the left arm high, right leg back. Exhale, curl in. Inhale left arm high, right leg back, hold here. Keep the left shoulder lifted, look to the left, maybe straighten your left leg, 
If you're going to bind it, bend the right knee, reach with your left hand, find that foot. And if you have the grip, kick into your hand, pull the shoulder as far back as you can. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, release both hands down, right foot down, next left. Right foot forward, slide the left foot back. From your low lunge, with an inhale, drop your left heel. Hands to your hips and bring your torso upright. We're setting up for that warrior one. Now, deep under the right knee, left leg straight, left foot points to the side at least a little bit. Adjust so you can actually square the hips. Left hip forward, right hip back, sink your hips down. So maybe it's a wide stance, maybe shorter. Now, once you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. With the exhale, elbows out wide, open up your chest, let your head fall back, hold here. Left hip forward, right hip back still, keep that stance. Now from here, take an inhale. Exhale, reach this forward, round your spine. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, fold and round. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, round forward again. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, fold and round and hold. Right hand to the right hip, left arm outside the right thigh. Now twist, pull the right shoulder back and look up toward the ceiling. Use that left arm and brace against the right leg. Now pull the left hip forward, right hip back. If you want to go deep, maybe straighten the right leg. If you want to go further, maybe reach that right arm high and pull the right shoulder back to try to open your chest toward the ceiling here. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, release both hands down inside the right foot. Now make a quarter turn to the left. And then bring your legs into the horse stance. Heels and toes out, hips down, low thighs toward the of the floor, move around. And as you're ready, just crawl your hands up onto your thighs, bring your torso up, right? And settle in with your spine vertical. Now reach your arms out wide and take your eagle bind, right arm under, left arm over. Cross the doubles, palms to touch thumbs with your face. And again, reach for the shoulders if you need to, do what works. And from here, let's take it from up to down. So straighten your legs, lift the elbows, gaze up high, arms still squeezing. Now, elbows toward your belly, round your spine, bend your knees, sink your hips down low, and then fold down between your thighs. Now, bring your torso upright, straighten your legs, elbows high, let your head fall back, arms squeezing. Round this in, elbows toward your belly, bend the knees, sink your hips down, fold forward between your thighs. Again, bring your torso upright, straighten your legs, elbows high, let your head fall back, arms squeezing. Round this in, elbows toward your belly, bend the knees and sink down. Hinge forward and fold between your legs. One more time, bring your torso upright. Straighten your legs. Elbows high, let your head fall back. Now pull the elbows toward your belly. Bend the knees and sink down. And then hinge forward, come into that deep fold. Now once you fold, release your hands, bring them down to the floor. And then walk your hands over to the left side this time. Press the left side of your rib cage into the inner left thigh. Keep your hips low, keep the knees wide. Try to take it further with a half bind. Left arm reaches from underneath. Wrap around your left leg, palm open behind, and this is good enough. Just hook that leg and pull it in. If you can go further with your right hand, reach back and find that grip. And keep the right shoulder lifted, knees out wide, hips down low. Keep breathing here. Now take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands to the floor. Go ahead, lift your hips, shake your legs out for a moment, and just let all that tension, all that burning go. But of course, we're not quite done with it. So go ahead, bend the knees, sink your hips down a little, come back to that horse stance. Now, crawl your hands up onto your thighs, bring your torso upright. And then bring your hands to your low back again. Now interlace your fingers, find the interlace that feels strange. Keep the palms pressing toward each other, draw your shoulders back and keep your chest open. Now go ahead, lift your right heel. Turn left and dip your right knee low. Keep your spine vertical. Lift straight up. Right heel down, your back and horse. Lift your left heel. Turn to the right. Dip your left knee down low. Lift back up. Set both feet flat. Right heel up. Turn to the left. Dip your right knee down. Lift back up. Come back to horse. Left heel up. Turn right. Dip your left knee down. Back up to vertical and set that left heel. One more time. Lift the right heel. Turn left. Dip your right knee low. Come back up, both heels down, your back and horse. Now look at the right foot, pivot on the heel, point the toes to the front. Lift your left heel and square the hips forward. Now come forward to the right foot with your left knee high, find your balance. And then take your figure forward, left ankle crosses your right thigh. Now curl the toes to the left foot, keep them curled, bend to the right knee, sink down. Keep your shoulders pulled back. And then fold as deeply as you can over your crossed legs. Keep your gaze forward, shoulders back and take it to where you can. Maybe press your knuckles toward the ceiling if you've still got that bind.
All right, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just release your hands to the floor. Now, if you need to put the left foot down, go ahead and take it to curl. Otherwise, for Galavasana, both palms flat, shin high up on the upper arms. Now, kick the left foot forward. Lean forward. And just take it slow. Try to hover the right foot. Maybe pull the heel toward your seat. And maybe extend that right leg up and back. Take this to where you can. When you're ready, take it through one more vinyasa. Now, once you find your down dog here, paddle out. And go ahead and bring this into all fours. Bring both knees down to the mat. Now, I'm going to take this into going with Kasana from here. So bring your right knee forward to the center of the mat. Right foot over your left side. Pull the left knee forward, cross your legs tight, bring the feet out wide. As your legs are squeezing, come down to seated between your heels. And just give yourself a moment to set it up. Try to get both sit bones down to the floor. You can also do this with the left leg extended. Now when you're ready for the bind, right arm crosses your low back, palm facing away. And then with your left hand, reach back. Maybe find the right wrist, maybe reach to the elbow or anywhere in between. But use your grip to pull the right shoulder back, sit the sit tall and keep your chest open. If you want the full bind, right hand up between the shoulder blades, left arm from above. And see it by finding that grip somewhere in between. Now keep your chest open, shoulders pulled back, sit this up tall. Keep your feet pressing down and legs squeezing. And just breathe here. Now take a deep inhale. With the exhale, just release whatever arm bind you're in. Now set your hands down behind you, lean back, and keep the left knee bent, but extend your right leg straight. We're gonna take a John O'Shaughnessy in the setup here. So set the sole of the left foot on the inner right thigh as high up as you're comfortable with, and sit up tall, turn, open your chest toward the left knee. We're gonna take this as a side bend. Now bend the right knee and bring the right forearm down completely inside the right leg so the elbow's on the floor. And bend the right knee as much as you need to to make that happen. Now stay open to the side, reach your left arm out wide, and then back and forth here, take an inhale. With the exhale, sweep the left arm across and reach for your right big toe. Inhale, reach your left arm out wide again. Exhale, sweep this across. Inhale, reach wide one more time. Exhale, sweep across and keep reaching. Now if you touch a toe, it's great. If you don't, just keep reaching, keep that left shoulder high and look up to the ceiling. If you want to extend the right leg further, be sure the elbow stays down. Now to go deeper here, press the right arm into the right leg, pull your left shoulder back, and try to rotate your chest open toward the ceiling as you're leaning to the right. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring yourself upright. Hands behind you, lean back and just cross at the ankles. Come forward to all fours. And we'll take those two poses on the other side. So once you're ready, bring your left knee forward this time to the center of the mat. Left foot over to the right. Now right knee crosses behind the left. Bring your feet out wide as your legs are squeezing. And come down to seated between your heels. Now give yourself a moment. Get both sit bones down to the floor. Sit this up tall. You can always extend the right leg if you need to. And then once you're ready here, take the half bind. Left arm crosses your low back, palm facing away. With your right hand, reach. Maybe take the wrist or the elbow, anything you can grip in between. And draw that left shoulder back, keep your chest open, and just keep sitting tall. Now, if you can take the full bind, left hand comes up between the shoulder blades, right arm from above, and just see it by finding that grip somewhere in between. Shoulders back, chest open, both feet pressing down, legs squeezing toward each other. Keep breathing here. Now take an inhale, and with the exhale, just release your arm bind, 
hands down behind you, lean back, keep the right knee bent, and extend your left leg straight this time, and come into that John Shashasana setup. Left leg extended, sole the foot, a right foot on your inner left thigh again, just as high as you come up with. Sit up tall and turn, open your chest toward the right knee this time. Now bend your left knee as much as you need to, but bring the left forearm down completely inside the left thigh, left elbow down. And just stay open to the side, reach your right arm out wide. Back and forth from here, take an inhale. With the exhale, sweep the right arm across and reach for your left big toe. Inhale, reach your right arm out wide again. Exhale, sweep across and reach. Inhale, the right arm wide one more time. Exhale, sweep across, reach for the left big toe and keep reaching. Now maybe touch the toe, maybe not, but look up toward the ceiling, pull the right shoulder back. If you can extend the left leg further, be sure that elbow stays down. Press your left arm into your left leg as you pull the right shoulder back and try to open your chest toward the ceiling on this side. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bring yourself back upright. And once you come to an upright seat, just lean back, bend the knees, and shake your legs out for a moment. And then come all the way down onto your back when you're ready. Now once you're down, pull your knees into your chest and just squeeze things in tight. Press your spine down flat. And then go ahead and release your grip and bring your feet down to the floor. Now, I want to set this up for one long round of back bending. I'll start the cue with bridge and lead into wheel. If you want to take wheel from the beginning, feel free, and you can always just stay in bridge. You don't have to take things any farther. But to set it up, feet and knees, hips with distance, bring your heels in close to so your low back's basically flat. Arms to your sides, palms down, just keep your gaze up toward the ceiling. Now, when you're ready, with an inhale, press with your feet, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, and stay lifted here. Keep your hips pressing high, and this is good enough. Just keep the tension of the lift. If you're going to take your bridge further, hands underneath your hips. You can interlace your fingers. Maybe pull your palms together. You can work your shoulders further behind your back to open up your chest and keep lifting. And if you want to add to that, if you're able to reach, you can hold the ankles and lift even higher. Now, wherever you take this to, keep your hips lifted, but release your hands if you're going to take this into wheel. The hands go around your head, elbows high. When you're ready, press into your palms. You can always lift to the top of your head first. And then when you're ready, straighten your arms. So hips toward the ceiling, chest toward the back of the mat. Keep your glutes squeezing. You can always lift your heels for either pose if you feel too much in the low back. But find that length and find that tension all along the back side of the body, along your spine, across the shoulder blades and in the glutes. Let the front line of the body open up and keep your breathing long and smooth here. When you're ready, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bring everything back down to the floor. Now, once you come down, pull your knees back into your chest and just squeeze things in. And let's take happy baby. Go ahead and reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. Now, stack your ankles above your knees and pull down on both sides. Draw the knees down toward the floor outside your ribs. Press your feet back up into your hands at the same time. And just keep the tension working both up and down. Try to flatten your spine, sink your tailbone toward the floor. If you want to take it further, you can rock a little bit side to side. And then further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. Now, finally, from wherever you are, take a deep inhale here. Draw down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here. Let your body settle down into the mat.
And then just start to move bit by bit here when you're ready. Fingers and toes. Arms and legs. Take a deep inhale. Reach your arms long past your head and just stretch this out. And then pull things back in. Bring the elbows toward your chest. And dry your knees up as well. And find your way up to a comfortable seat. Now ground yourself into the mat here. Stack your spine. Bring your hands up the heart center. And then take a deep inhale. Hold on to at the top. And just let everything go. I thank you for joining class. Namaste.